Um, maybe it's because it's Red Dead Redemption 2. I do it? I don't know. I'm sure I broke it. Come on now, boy. <laughs> what is on the agenda? today. Weird, considering that you're coughing it up. Okay. Okay. Oh, you just whatever that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. <coughs> Steer clear. Thanks, mister. Okay. I owe you my life. Yep. Oh, some things you learn the hard way. Yeah. You can... You can say that again. I'll see you in the next town when you offer to get buy something on my... Let me buy something off your tab. <laughs> so it always happens. Right. Same stranger going to town. Hey, this the guy saved my life! Buy some off this tab. Yeah. 
state. What a swamp. I gotta help this guy take photographs of crap. I wonder. They creep up on you, you know. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. 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 The 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, oh. I saw movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest, there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look, then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. What do you want me to do here? stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Well, Gators got some catching up to do there. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all a gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. Quite. It's hardly fair. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than... than... alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Right. Right. There, in the cane break. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. You see its head? Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20 foot gators here and us two idiots are sitting in a... 12-foot skip? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rolling fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big one. I don't like the boat system in this game. Pain in the goddamn ass. Ah, 
boat just there, off the island. Sure. When we stop too long, locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass, right? Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? <clears throat> please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. But maybe I want what? this monster stuffed in on display. Huh. That's the spirit. <laughs> out you go, then. Get him in, uh, get him in those shoes. Then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you, too. Oh, he's awake. I hope you're slow. Come on, Gator. Quick, in the boat. In, I'm trying! In, 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 in. Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. What a way to start off a stream with a boring ass mission. Jesus Christ. Alrighty then. Ah yes, Doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do it. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? Oh, I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. <laughs> I shall certainly try. Bye, you country. What's this? Oh god, oh god! Whoa. Okay, thanks, Jackass.
Alligators. Or big creatures. <laughs> I wish I knew what that said. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Well, looks like I'm gonna need my handy dandy where is it <sighs> my turn Really weird that they didn't fix that. June seventh, eighteen fifty five. Dear Sir. Please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Hmm. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did it. Uh. 
April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. See shit. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. No, we should have sold them. God, quit putting the fucking lantern away. I can't see. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. this place first yeah easy I'm just looking around for some things hmm. that old revolver yours hmm. finders keepers ah son of a bitch oh god damn it, damn it. Oh, come on man where are you going oh, come on gonna get you come on. Was super unfortunate. Nothing, huh? Well, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Ram. Oh, now you automatically take out the lantern. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. 
till the day I die. I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Get on there, Booth. I'm... Times was... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? Things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are off. you doing? That's, that's my history. Let's go home.
Every time. Every time I want to fucking just get out of this place. Where'd your fucking corpse go? How you doing, boy? Ah, I'll stay there, boy. Come on, pal. Yeah. Hey, partner. Plenty of room here for another. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Again to find all this crap. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Pearson. My table awaits your offerings, Hi, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Hi, Sadie. Yeah, looking forward to seeing oh, what you can turn good. that into. This is going in the pot. Thank you, Arthur. Catahoula.
What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. Kane. <laughs> His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Hey, boy. <laughs> Hello, boy. Can I pet you, or are you gonna? <laughs> Look, I got a cat hula. Contribute. Stream, I promise you. Oh, it goes the same animation every time. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Point. Somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's okay, General Akbar. a trap. But what do we got to lose Admiral. finding Admiral out? Admiral Akbar. Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Mm hmm. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> All right. Now we got ourselves a game. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. 
Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to see how this mission plays out. You know, I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us? Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. your placement i don't want to hear it too much. that's my problem 2580 you can much. take your 2580 and suck my dick with that i don't fucking this care is it's only platinum From both of you it might be micah might be full of shit como driscoll 2580 might be full of Please. shit the promise realize i was 400 under nation. that man created equal Come into my chat and tell me all that. For all, that might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Get out. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a Get spot out. I can't just stand above you. us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. How the hell does someone get disconnected? That's like what? Isn't that suspension? Like, once you leave a game, you can't play for like 10 minutes? It is, isn't it? Like, if you get kicked from a... No sympathy. I do not feel bad for you. I'm gonna be doing that. Damn well, no competitive. It's too important. Oh, whoops. My bad. No damn well competitive. It's too important to be uh, on a hot spot.
Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. Sending me all sorts of stuff, aren't you? Sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's yep. that coming along? Just fucking do it. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I <coughs> liked Annabelle. Y'all is oh. ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Sense. Yeah. Handing them over to the law, it's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole <coughs> lot of them. With this yeah. fella Colum's right, we can draw them off. He's escaping, shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. <coughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, no, my God. Not yet. But I will. <coughs> that uh, who is that You could be a bad guy, me, or you could be a good guy. Money. I mean, those Where are those choices. Money, I think oh, the story is pretty straightforward. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you lie, <laughs> my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If oh, I were you, God. you learned that one the hard way. As soon as I had him. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you. Then... Disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed 
Mm. This is actually very frustrating. I hate missions where you end up feeling fucking homeless or a prisoner. I guess that's why they make them! Feel helpless. There's nothing you can do. You're a prisoner. You've been shot. You've wounded. Now you gotta figure out a way out of here, save the day, so that way Red Dead Redemption 1 can start out normally. I'm gonna cry. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a prisoner. Go swing the shackles, grab the lockpick. You know that. Don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. I'm sorry, Arthur. I'm so sorry. Shoot your hole. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. All right, now what are we doing? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. What's up?
My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. Hmm. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. Oh, How God, you feeling? Look at that beard. Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. I think I'm going to keep the beard and the mustache, and I'm going to lose the chops. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! There you go. Now his voice and his mustache match. Let's get. Let's go, boy. All right. We'll just ignore the fact that, that just happened. Yeah. 
really hope I don't get shot today. Really nice. Anyone moves, I go right before I shoot you. Hurry up in there. Let's get out of here before the cavalry goes. Best move. This is bad. ain't worth it. In my town. <clears throat> and ain't nobody gonna be stealing from my town. What? I was stealing from the Moin Raiders that thing. My goodness. Goodness gracious. He's stealing from Lamoyne Raiders. Oh, because not all of them were fucking Lamoyne Raiders. Mixer is telling me that it is time for my union allocated smoke break. Hey, boy. Yeah. You see. Tough food. Thank God. No, oh God, please. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... Oh, shit!
Morgan. You see that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. They really just fucking killed Sean. I'm not. There's so many bodies to loot. Looting dead bodies, shut up! Should have been you over here. You're not fucking Sean. I like Sean. We saved him from Blackwater. What have you done? You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yes. Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you! Don't do it! 
You know, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work uh -huh. out. Except when it's your goddamn uh -huh. fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Well, there's a big fucking surprise. You. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will oh my god, him. shut up. We will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you... Let's ride. Okay. This mission is going to be so that aggressive that it changed from di afternoon to night in no time flat. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to bring
rig, Kachi. But I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Just still a little shook up if they actually shot Sean instead of Micah. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. <laughs> Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! Don, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. I ain't gonna be civilized about this. Shit! God 
can't see a goddamn thing! One, two, three! No! Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no Please problem shoot her in the foot. Where Yankees. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> Let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack in, in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braidway? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> F and A. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right brother. thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. Go. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, <laughs> sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... <laughs> this is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity 
and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vandalind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <laughs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, y'all. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot off. Follow me. I know. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's not it. Fuck. I don't know what that is. All right. Boy. gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean... How many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're 
worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought... Alright. Should be just down this path to the left. Part of me thought what? So, part. anyway, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure I'm <laughs> nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Coming in now. Please don't shoot me. Politely. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Come out with your hands up. You still walk out of here. I'll get to you in a minute. Beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? What are you doing, Arthur? I'm coming in just a complicated way. Shut up. Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Are you gonna help me carry these then? Follow me. Can you? Oh God! Is everybody so fucking impatient in this game? All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Feed them to the gators, huh?
Kate. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. They're really gonna make me dump the rest of these. Open. If they make me do every single one of these. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends, nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, <laughs> we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Alrighty then. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Well, wouldn't you fucking put it like that? Big city. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can.
<sighs> Settling fuse. You completed chapter three. Hello there. Oh, I can't say hello back. Thinking that I still need to follow these tracks to reveal the rest of the map here. There we go. fucking worked. Ah, you came back. Such a long time. Time for a new gun, perhaps? Do you need any assistance? Ah, <sighs> no, it's all right. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best. I'm just going to spend the rest of my time doing this before I jump off. Take a lot of bullets with you. I can see you look after your firearm. Thank you. Shit, I guess I could load. Very good chop suey on the street. Say I sent you. Ch uh, chop suey, huh? Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Yeah, you just cleaned it for me. How about that? I can see you uh -huh. look after your firearm. to see you're taking care of it. So many hmm. people don't. Okay. I'll do that. Ooh. You got no regrets with that decision. Oh my god, that's cool. 
I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been Am I missing something here? Gun. Glad to see you're taking you know, care it, of it. Like that. So many people don't. I can see I, you I, look I, after your firearm. Okay. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I can see you look after your firearm. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've been there taking is. good care of that gun. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make a difference. You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. You will feel the difference right away. Yeah, I like that. I can see you look after your firearm. Oh god, sometimes you guys just do too much. <clears throat> I look after all my firearms. We just cut to the chase and stop, stop, stop saying stuff. You know? That'll give you a real edge. Wonder what you were doing. Looks like you've been what? taking care of that gun. I've got some better stocks that would fit that gun. Can <laughs> add to stability. You got no regrets with that decision. You will feel the difference right away. I can do some nice ornate engraving on there, if you like, good price. You need any help? Nice mahogany. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. That'll give you a real edge. We also offer an engraving service in case you are interested. Gold varmint rifle. <laughs> want the leather. A man got shot right there on Courtney Street. Down here, you carry a gun. I can see you look after your firearm. 
No, I customize it. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. I could add some rifling into that barrel if you want. Makes it much more accurate. Ah! You got no regrets with that decision. I know you're trying to provide the best customer service. But I just... You'll notice the quality of the workmanship. Take it back a minute. Can I help you find something? Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. This town can be dangerous at the dark. Always go armed. Thank you. Very nice. And that is my, uh, my two. Oh my god, it's already dark. Thanks. <sighs> That's my two hours.